El Mu'minun, the believers. With the name of Allah, the most gracious, the ever merciful. Truly, success in this life and in the hereafter does come to the believers, who turn to God in all humility in their prayer, and who keep aloof from all that is vain and idle, and who act conscientiously for the sake of purity and regularly presents the zakat, and who guard their private parts, except from their spouses, that is those whom they justly and rightfully own in proper wedlock. In that case they are not to be blamed. But those who seek anything else to satisfy their sexual desire beyond this, it is they who are the transgressors, and who look after their trusts and their covenants, and who are strict in the observance of their prayers. It is they who are the real heirs, who will own a paradise where they shall abide forever. We create a human being from an extract of clay. Then we reduce him to a drop of sperm and place him in a safe depository. Then we form the sperm into a clot. Then we develop the clot into a lump of flesh. Then we fashion bones out of this lump of flesh. Then we clothe the bones with flesh. Thereafter we evolve him into another being. Therefore, blessed be Allah, the best of creators. Then, as you have passed these seven stages of physical creation, parallel to the above seven spiritual stages, you are heading towards death. Then, after death, you will certainly be raised up to life on the day of resurrection. And we have created above you seven ways, and we never have been neglectful of the needs of the creation. And we send down water out of the cloud according to a certain measure, and we lodge it in the earth as long as it is required. And remember, Surely it is we who determine its taking away through the process of evaporation and many other processes. And then with it we grow for you gardens of date palms and vines, and you have plenty of fruit in these gardens, and of these fruit you eat. And with the water we produce a tree which grows on Mount Sinai, which bears in it oil, and supplies a condiment for those who use it for food. And you have an evidence in the creation of the cattle, too, which should lead you from ignorance to knowledge. We give you to drink of that milk which is in their bellies. You derive many other benefits from them, and you also get food from some of them. You are born on them as well as on the ships. And we sent Noah to his people, and he said, O my people, worship Allah alone. You have no God other than he. Will you not then guard against evil and seek his protection? But the chiefs of those who disbelieved from among his people said, He is nothing but a human being like yourselves. Only he seeks to assert his superiority over you. And if Allah had so willed, he could have certainly sent down angels with him. We have never heard of this sort of a thing happen in the times of our fathers of old. He is but a man gone mad. You had better bear with him for a while and see the consequences. Noah said, praying, My Lord, help me, for they treat me as a liar. Then we sent our revelation to him, directing him, Make the ark under our eyes, and according to the dictates of our revelation. And when the time of our judgment comes, and the waters of the valley gush forth, then embark therein, two of every species, a pair of everything that you may need, and your companions, 
except those of them against whom our word of condemnation for their misdeeds have already gone forth. But do not plead with me in favor of those who have acted unjustly, for they are doomed to be drowned. Then when you and your companions are seated perfectly well in the ark, say, praying, All true and perfect praise belongs to Allah, who has delivered us from the wicked people. And say while praying, My Lord, Enable me to make a blessed landing, for you are the best of those who provide people with the fairest landing place. Verily, this account of Noah is full of many signs. Surely, thus do we reveal the hidden truth about the people, and we did try the people of Noah. Then we raised another generation after them. And we sent to them a messenger from among themselves, who said, Worship Allah. You have no other God other than He. Will you not, then, guard against evil deeds? And the chiefs of his people who disbelieved, and cried lies to the meeting with the Lord in the hereafter, and whom we had given ease and comfort in the present life, said, He is but a human being like yourselves. He eats of the food which you eat, and drinks of the drinks which you drink. And surely if you obey a human being like yourselves, you will then be the losers indeed. Does he promise you that when you are dead and reduced to dust and bones, you shall be brought forth alive again from the graves? How very far and away from the truth and understanding is that which you are promised? There is no life beyond our present life. It is here we die, and here we live. And we shall not at all be raised up to life again, so that there awaits us no resurrection. He is only an ordinary man who has forged a lie in the name of Allah, and we are not at all going to believe in him. He said, praying, My Lord, Help me, for they treat me as a liar. The Lord said, They shall be remorseful before long, when caught by some punishment. Then the punishment overtook them, justly and rightfully, and we made them as scum of the flood. So the people who do wrong are far removed from the mercy of God. Then we raised other generations after them. No community can go ahead of its appointed time, and thus manage to escape their doom, nor can they remain behind it or delay it. Then we sent our messengers successively, one after the other. Whenever there came to a community its messenger of God, they treated him as a liar. So we made some of them follow others to destruction, and we reduced them to mere legendary tales. Therefore, the people who do not believe are far removed from the mercy of their Lord. Then we sent Moses and his brother Aaron with our messages and a clear authority to Pharaoh and his courtiers, but they waxed proud, for they were a haughty type of people. And they said, Shall we believe in two human beings like ourselves, while their people, the Israelites, are our bondsmen? So they cried lies to both of them, with the result they became of those who were destroyed. And after this event, we gave Moses the book, so that they, his people, might receive guidance through it. And we made the son of Mary and his mother a sign and a model of virtue, and we gave them both refuge upon a worth-living lofty plateau, abounding in green and fruitful valleys and springs of running water. O oh, you messengers, eat of the things which are clean, good, and pure, and thus do good works. Verily I am well aware of what you do. Surely know that this community of yours is in fact one community, and your religion one religion, 
and I am your Lord, so take me as your shield. But the people, rather than preserve their unity, split up their affair among themselves, forming themselves into factions, considering each portion thus split up as the real scripture, every faction rejoicing in that which was with them. So leave them in their utter confusion, due to their ignorance, for a time. Do they think that because of what we go on adding to their worldly wealth and children, we are in a hurry to do them good? Nay, but they do not realize the true state of things. As for those who out of the majesty of their Lord are full of awe and reverence to him, and those who believe in the revelations of their Lord, and those who associate not partners with their Lord, and those who give whatever they can afford to give as alms in the way of their Lord, while their hearts tremble at the thought that they are returning to their Lord, and whether their deeds will find his approval or not. It is they who are quick and eager to do good works, to outdo others, and it is they who are the foremost for these. And we do not lay down responsibility upon any soul beyond its capacity, and we have a book which speaks and acts justly, and no injustice is done to anyone. Nay, there the disbelievers' minds are in utter confusion due to ignorance about this Qur'an, and they are engrossed in deeds different from the bindings of revelations, and they go on doing them. Yet as soon as we take those of them given to a life of luxury to task, behold, they start appealing for succor. Whereupon it will be said to them, Do not appeal for succor this day. You shall receive no help from us. My messages were recited to you, but you used to turn back on your heels, treating them with disdain and arrogance, talking nonsense about this Qur'an by night in your meetings. You gave it up. Have they not then pondered over the divine word? As a matter of fact, there has come to them that which had not come to their fathers of old. Or do they deny their messenger because they do not recognize him? Or do they say, he is possessed? Nay, but the fact is that he has brought them the truth, while most of them are averse to the truth. And had the eternal truth followed their vain and low desires, the heavens and the earth and all those who are living in them would have surely gone to ruin. But we have brought them that which will raise them to eminence, yet they are turning aside from their own means of raising them to eminence. Or do you ask of them a tribute? There is no such thing as the tribute of your Lord is the best for he is the best of providers. And most surely you are calling them to a straight and right path. But those who do not believe in the hereafter are indeed deviating from that path. And even if we had shown them mercy and relieved them of their distress, they would still persist in their transgression, wandering on blindly. And we did seize them with punishment in the past, but they did not humble themselves before their Lord, nor would they supplicate to him for mercy. Behold, no sooner did we let loose on them a severe punishment than that they are utterly despaired of God's mercy thereat. And disbelievers, it is he who has given you ears, eyes, and hearts yet little is the gratitude you express. And it is he who has multiplied you in the earth, and to him you shall be gathered. It is he who gives life and causes death, and he alone controls the alternation of night and day, 
will you not then make use of your understanding? But rather than trying to understand, they repeated what the former people had said. They had said, What? Shall we be certainly raised up to life when we are dead and reduced to mere dust and bones? Surely we and our forefathers have already been given such promises before. These are nothing but, but just fables of the former people. Ask, tell me, if you know whom the earth and all the creatures therein belong to? They will certainly say, To Allah. Thereupon say, Will you still pay no heed? Say, Who is the Lord of the seven heavens and the Lord of the great throne of power? They will surely say, They all belong to Allah. Say, Will you not then guard against refusal and evil deeds? Ask, Tell me, If you know who it is, in whose hand lies the dominating control of everything, and who protects all while against whom no protection can be had. They will indeed say, All these attributes belong to Allah. Say, How and whither are you then being led away? The thing is that we have brought them the truth about the unity of God but they are sticking to lies by refusing it repeatedly. Allah has taken to himself no son, nor is there any other God along with him. Had there been any, each God would have left with what he had created, and some of them would have surely dominated over others. Holy is Allah, far above all they attribute to him. He has knowledge of both the hidden and the manifest realities. He is highly exalted above all the things they associate with him. Say in prayer, My Lord, if you should show me in my lifetime that punishment they are threatened with, my Lord, then do not leave me among the wrongdoing people. As a matter of fact, we have every power of showing you in your lifetime that punishment we threaten them with. Repel their evil by repaying it with that which is the fairest. We know very well the things they allege about you. And say in prayer, My Lord, I seek refuge in you from the mischief-mongerings of the rebellious people. Rather, I also seek refuge in you my lord, lest they should even come near me. Behold, when death approaches one of them, the rebellious ones, he says, Send me back, my lord, send me back, so that I may do righteous deeds which I fail to do in the worldly life. Never, that can never be, is the answer he receives. It is but a word of excuse which he utters and there is a barrier between them which shall remain till the day when they shall be raised to life again. So when the trumpet is blown, ties of kinship will cease to exist between them that day, nor will they ask after one another. Then on that day there shall be a true weighing, so that whose scales are heavy and their deeds of righteousness preponderant and manifold, it is they who are the triumphant but whose scales are light and their deeds of righteousness of no account, it is they who have ruined their souls and who shall abide in Jehenna for long. The fire shall scorch their faces, so they will lie there disfigured with burning, and they will wear a grin of pain and anguish. It will be said to them, is it not true that my messages were recited to you, but you went on crying them lies? They will say, Our Lord, our misfortune got the better of us, and we were actually an erring people. Our Lord, deliver us from this. We shall indeed be 
unjust if we return to our evil ways of disobedience. God will say, Be gone with you, despised therein, and do not speak to me. There was a section from among my servants who said, Our Lord, we believe, so protect us against our sins, and have mercy on us, for you are the best of those who show mercy. But you treated them as a laughing stock, and you continued to laugh at them, until that ridicule made you give up even my remembrance, while you ever went on laughing at them. This day I have rewarded them for their patient endurance, so that they are the ones who have attained their goals and achieved bliss. God will then say, What number of years have you tarried on the earth? They will say, We tarried only for a day or part of a day. We have no exact idea, but ask those who keep the count. God will say, You tarried but a little while, if only you knew what loss you have incurred by missing doing good. Did you then think that we had created you without purpose, and that you would not be brought back to us? Whereas highly exalted is Allah, the monarch, the truly existing one. There is no other cannot be and will never be one worthy of worship but he, the Lord of the glorious throne. And he who calls upon another god along with Allah, for the godhead of which he has no proof, shall have to render an account to his Lord. Certainly such disbelievers will never gain their object. And say in your prayer, My Lord, protect and have mercy and you are the best of those who show mercy.